Valorante patch notes 4.04 .04 today is the start of Valorant season four act three two the one focused on cleaning house and clean my house starts with the promised Yoru overhaul a reshaping of the controller role and a renovation to Icebox. The pure changes are listed below but we have two special dev articles lined up that will dive deeper behind the changes and goals for the controller agent and Icebox updates. Improve the system used to place abilities at targeted ground locations. This update should make it easier to find valid placement locations in tight spaces. Tight spaces like yo mama, chat. These are the abilities affected. Omen's shrouded step. So I'm imagining this is like his, his teleport where it's just, it used to be just a little arrow on the ground that like the, based on how high and low you aimed, it was a little annoying sometimes. Viper's Pit, this is Viper Ult. Chambers trademark on and rendezvous. I believe this is his uh his trip and his TP, which again, very annoying and touchy abilities to place. Every killjoy ability, and now that I play Killjoy in some maps, let me tell you, some things are very annoying. Yoru's gate crash, Sage's berry orb, all the annoying abilities. Alright. Omen changes. Here we go. As, as strategic diversity in Valorant evolved, or didn't evolve, how it's been literally Astra Viper now since Astra has been released, Omen has struggled to find his place within the meta. That is true. Many of you enjoy his gameplay loop, but have found it increasingly difficult to justify his selection in higher tiers of play. We want to increase his reliability as a controller by rolling back a selection of early nerfs to Dark Cover and sharpen his combat-focused abilities. Dark Cover, his smokes. Cooldown decrease from 40 to 30. 30 second smokes. Cost increase from 100 to 150. And projectile speed increase from 2800 to 6400. That's almost a triple, triple increase. Wow. <clears throat> so let's just re get to the end and then we'll talk about him. Then his TP, Shrouded Step, cost decreased from 150 to 100. So they increased the cost of his smoke by 50, but decreased the cost of his TP. I think it's good. Pre-teleport delay decreased from 1 to 0.7. And then his flash, Paranoia, added forward spawn offset. So adjacent players to Omen are not hit. I think a lot of people expected Omen's flash to no longer hit their teammates. But, all good. His smoke got increased by 50. His TP got de de decreased by 50. <clears throat> his TP is faster now. His smokes are hecka faster. And his smokes also have a 30 second cooldown instead of a 40 second duo cooldown. And someone says, what does adjacent mean? It basically means if you are right next to the... If you're basically right next to the omen, like adjacent, like next to him, like side by side, then you won't be flashed by him anymore. Because sometimes it would be like if you're standing right next to omen and he flashes, you get flashed too. Now it makes it like that it starts a little bit more in front of him. So yeah, I think these are good, good buffs to omen. I think the cooldown being decreased is really good. I don't know. I think they're keeping the duration the same. Um. And the cooldown or like the the recharge time, I'm I'm guessing is gonna be thirty, but yeah, I think this is all good. Overall, good buffs to Omen. I think he'll be more fun to play in comp. I don't know how these Brimstone and Astra and Viper chains are gonna be, but I still think that Omen's ult is actually pretty underrated sometimes. Um, so yeah, could be good. Could be good. I would I would love it to go back to an Omen meta as opposed to Astra Viper. And on that note, let's move on to the next smoke agent, Brimstone. Brimstone is in a healthy spot overall, but he wasn't performing well in scenarios where we think he should. The limitations on his smoke deployment and his stim beacon's versatility were leaving him too constrained. With these changes, we're hoping Brimstone will be a competitive choice on a healthy portion of the map pool. Okay. Sky Smoke, which is his smokes. Deploy time decrease from two to one. So this is, you know, when you are on your iPad and you right click and you left, left click, and then you right click or however it works. Um, and then you see like the big red thing coming down from the sky that used to have a two second delay. Like it would, it would take two seconds to come from the sky all the way down. Now 
it's one second. So it, it just smokes much faster, one second faster to be specific. Deploy radius increase from 5,000 to 5,500. Smoke's height increase to match other controllers. Certainly they should have said the radius instead of the height because it makes me sound like height means it's going to be like an oval shaped, but I'm sure it means radius. I don't know how big. I'm sure the, the video that's here will show us, but I think that was one of Brimstone's worst attributes was smokes lasted the longest, I believe the longest, but at some places where most other controllers could one smoke something, Brimstone has to two smoke it or smoke shallower or deeper to be able to do it. I think this will be a good buff to Brimstone. And then finally, Stim Beacon now also applies a 15% speed boost in addition to rapid fire. So anyone on Brim's team turned into a little mini neon. Now this, this is okay. I mean, this makes sense. This, a speed boost? And you get two stim packs around? Uh, well, I don't know what the impl. I, I, this is what I was afraid of. I don't know what the implications of changing speed, like running speed in a game like this. I think it changes a lot of the timings. I think it changes the pace of a lot of, of, of things. Rotating is super fast. Rushing is going to be super fast. There's going to be timings that you're used to where like, you know, uh, only Jet Dash could get there, or only Ray's Satchel can get there. Now, all of a sudden, it's going to be like, oh, sheesh, you stim pack everyone, and they can literally beat you to places where they, you don't think so. Like, imagine, imagine like a speed boost is. I, I just think of like Jet, and I think of like Chamber. Like, how annoying those two agents are just to play against their pick potential. Now they can get 15% further than they were able to before. So personally, not a fan of this. I think it's good. I, I to, let me be let me be straight with you. I think Stimpak was super underrated, and people didn't value Stimpak very much. Um, I don't think a speed boost is. I don't think this. Uh, I, I don't think this like technology or that this tech needs to be in a game like Valorant. The peak, the 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 pacing is already so fast as it is anyway. This changes a lot, I think. So, yeah, we'll have to see how this changes things. The most oppressive controller that there is in all of Valorant that's ever been in Valorant, that is probably the most annoying controller to play against in Valorant, but also to play as in Valorant. Here we go. With the mastery of Astra's play patterns over time, she's become an overwhelming force in both coordinated and high MMR play. She's crowded out Brimstone and Omen by replicating their strengths, and they simply couldn't keep up with the map-wide impact for utility. That's true. We're taking steps to create clearer relative weaknesses in an attempt to carve more space for our other controllers. Okay. This starts by reducing her overall utility output and increasing her ability cooldown in the hopes that this will increase the importance of each move she makes. Okay, sounds good. Uh, paired with this, we're taking the opportunity to provide some quality of life updates and bug fixes that we feel are long overdue. That's true. That's, that's pretty true right there. Stars. Max stars reduced from five to four. Oh, sheesh. Cooldown on retrieving a star increase from 14 to 25. Astra can now pick up play stars during the buy phase to refund their charge immediately. This is quality of life. Because it used to be, uh, it used to be you place a star before the barrier drops, you just, you're stuck with it. So this will be good. Max distance of star placement increased from 10,000 to 30,000 to allow her to place stars across the furthest corners of maps. Oh, oh, they're coming for Astra. Let's just read all of them. Gravity well, cooldown, which is her suck, of course. Cooldown increased from 25 to 45, nearly doubled the cooldown. 
Gravity well size decrease from 525 to 475. That's 50 if my math isn't mistaken. Gravity well no longer affects anyone fully underneath the gravity well. I think of spots like Fracture on the A site where you could suck on top and it sucks below. I think of maps like Ascent where you can suck heaven on A site and you can't suck under heaven as well. That's pretty big. I'm assuming her stun is the, yep, stun is the same way. Cool no her Nova Pulse was your stun. Cooldown increase from 25 to 45. So her suck and stun are 45 second cooldown. Nova Pulse no longer affects anyone fully under Okay, so the same thing as her suck. So this right here is big. Because it used to be Um I think about a map like Haven when you're on attack and you're playing against an Astra on defense, what a lot of times would happen would you fake A, you can bait out the Astra suck, and then 25 seconds later, she has another one. So it's like you have a 25 second window to pop C after they suck A if you want to. Now you have a 45 second window. And this is on obviously all maps. Like pre-sucking or pre-stunning off of barrier is going to be very detrimental, I think to teams running Astros, like you can't. And if you if you do run, I feel like if you're gonna run Astro, you have to run a Sentinel. Cause you, like, I don't know how Astro is gonna be, actually, I don't even know. How, how can Astra, if you need to suck or stun off the rip now, you have 45 seconds where Astro literally like actually cannot anchor anymore. That's a long time, that's like half the round. So you will literally have two sucks or two stuns around at most realistically so that's crazy nebula which is our which which are her smokes cooldown increase from 14 to 25 so you get two smokes but now they're 25 second cooldown each again kind of crazy nebula cooldowns are now sequential instead of simultaneous nebula size increase from 410 to 475 so she got bigger smokes as well for radius i guess so I think that's good that her smokes are bigger, but I think these nerfs are 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 very big. I I personally thought Astro meta was the worst meta in the game. I thought controller players shouldn't have as much impact as they do. And especially just the suck and stun combo of Astro with a 25 second cooldown, like bro, that was that was too short. So I think this is good um for the game. And I think that we'll probably start seeing some as they said some controller diversity as opposed to just Astro Viper every map. We'll have to see how everything looks. I mean, I have a video of all the stuff here, so we'll check it out right after, but uh, I think this is good. I, I, I think the, these Astro nerfs are long overdue, but now we move forward to Viper as the kids and the weird cringe kids these days call her our mommy. We like Viper's hybrid controller slash sentinel role on the roster, really. But her buffs and our newest map additions have turned her into a must-have controller and best in class sentinel in more situations than we think a dual role agent should fill. With the below changes, we hope to create stark decision points on when Viper should manage her fuel, as well as provide clear account of opportunities and attack windows for her enemies. Okay. I don't necessarily disagree with this. This is well said. Um, fuel, fuel drain increased by 50% when toxic screen and poison cloud are both active. So this is how it was back in the day before you guys even considered playing Valorant when you were sitting there in Twitch chat and Reddit threads saying Valorant's dead game, lol, child's game. This is, this is how it used to be in the beta. Viper's fuel bar now turns red when she does not have enough fuel to activate her abilities. So, used to be when you have both her Q and her her bubble, we call it, and her wall up at the same time, it the, the her her fuel would drain faster. Now that they changed that so that if you have both up, it's the same speed. Now they put it back to if you have her Q and your E up at the same time, a 50% increase on fuel drain that is a lot so so the, the reason why they're doing that is because some basically what they said it some people are playing viper as a sentinel 
but also a main controller. So if you're this single smoker and you're like, I think of Breeze, for example, right? Where most teams only run Viper. They don't run Viper Astra. They don't run Viper Omen. They run only Viper. This makes it very, 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 very hard to run a solo Viper on maps where she's both dual rolling as your Sentinel and also your controller. I don't think you can do, play only Viper now on a map like Breeze. I think we'll see Omens. I actually think Omen is pretty good on Breeze. I think we'll maybe even see Brimstone. Um, but I don't think you can get a raid. Just with this, not even looking at the rest of her nerfs, just with this, I don't think this... I, I, I think this is a lot, and it does not allow you to play single Viper as your controller player anymore. Really, the only map that was was Breeze. A lot of teams were running Viper Astra on Fracture as well. So, yeah. It might be time to start busting out the the Omens, the Brimstones. Oh, it's going to be good. Toxic Screen, which is her E, a.k.a. her wall. Cooldown after deactivating increased from 6 to 8. So this is like some people put up and down her wall. Um... Now there's a two an increase of two seconds between putting it up and putting it down. Not the biggest deal. Doesn't really matter that much. That's fine. Cooldown timer now starts when her smoke starts to spank when the deactivation telegraph plays. Okay. Interesting. Deactivation delay decrease from one to point. So it'll go up and down fast. Like it'll it'll go up and it'll go down faster than it did before. I think that's good. Toxic screen now has yellow lights that indicate when it is on cooldown. Okay. Wait. Does that mean each of the little prongs that are on the floor, like those things, um, those things will actually be yellow so you know she can't put it up? Oh, that might be... That, that'll be interesting. Deactivation, blah, 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 blah. Remove delay on... We'll, we'll check in the video. I think that is what it means. I don't... Unless it's just like a HUD thing. But why would they change it to just a HUD thing? Because, like, you already get, like, the cooldown bar anyway. It's fine. Remove delay on Tuxa stream disabling when Viper is dispressed. Suppressed. Unique day. Added a unique VO line that plays in respect to disabled by stress. So, this, a trick is Viper that I was actually doing was, if I know KO ult is coming, or I'm about to get KO knifed and I, there's no way to kill it, I would put up my wall in my bubble instantly, and that way... You get suppressed for, what, seven or eight seconds? That way, your wall goes up, stays up for a second, then it comes right back down. So you get, like, a little... You get to kind of, like, cheat the timing a little bit. So they made it so that you can't do that anymore. That kind of sucks. I'm like, I'm assuming this is all the same. Cooldown after deactivating... this. So now we move on to her her Q, her... Her, uh... Her bubble, or her, her booger, if people like to call it that. Cooldown after deactivating increased from six to eight. So same with her, her 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 wall. Cooldown timer now starts when her smoke starts dissipating instead of when the deactiva deactivation telegraph plays. Okay. Deactivation delay it decreased. So same as her wall. Poison orb has a yellow light to indicate when it's on cooldown. I think this does mean like if you run across her the the booger in the wild or the wall in the wild like in the map, it'll be yellow if she, she can't put it up. I think that's kind of cool, actually. Duration decreased from 6.5 to 5.5. So the question becomes now, can the molly still kill you if you have the booger on the bomb? Because it used to be booger alone did not kill a player defusing if they have 150, unless you also have the booger. Or we'll call it the bubble to be more PG. So now, with six point, if if you hit the bubble to go up, and you molly, will it still kill them? I don't know. I don't. They didn't change the damage. They didn't. We don't know though. I we'll have to wait and see how it does. They didn't change the damage unless they they increase the damage to. I, but they didn't. They would say they did. So. Someone says it takes four point two seconds if you have the the bubble this is big this 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 is very big overall for viper 
I don't think you're going to be able to play single Viper maps and only have Viper. I think a map, I, I think even a map like Breeze, I don't even know if Viper is going to be that good on Breeze. Even a map like Split, like I think of the way we play Split, to not be able to bubble and wall at the same time, it changes timings a lot. It's going to be weird, but we'll see how it goes. Map updates ascent. B orb can now be taken from the lower box. This is actually fighting for, I, I mean, this is like quality of life. Like sometimes it would look like you can take the orb from the bottom box, but you actually couldn't. So this just makes it easier to get the orb, makes it harder to get spammed. But, you know, yeah. Uh, okay, why not? Icebox. We heckin' hate Icebox. The set of Icebox updates are focused around B site and adjusting some of the problem spaces throughout the map. Stay tuned for an upcoming article where map designer Joey S Simus, Simus, Samas, dives deeper into these changes and what we hope to see from Icebox in the future. B green. Changes to B green lane are focused on improving attacker option, making the space more comfortable to play in. Oh, sheesh. So this is the before. And this is the after. This makes it a lot easier to go B. Because I feel like it's hard on attack on this map. It's why you need Sova on this map is just to clear all of this. Now you have some, some options to actually attack. I kind of like it. I actually kind of like it. That's kind of a good change, actually. Doorway from attacker spawn building near green lane move to the first cubby. This is to give attackers a new way to approach green instead of having to enter from two similar positions. There you go. So I think... Ah, they, they, they made it a little bit wider. We like the wideness here. Yeah, they just made it so that, like, like I said, so in addition to making this line and this line different, now they, like, widen this spot so, like, they can peek here or here. It's not just literally peeking the same line. So I think that's good. I, I do think that's good. Yellow container adjusted and new stack of crates added. As players have settled into icebox, we've noticed a lot of rounds revolve around anchoring down behind yellow during post plant situation. Hey, that's me. I like I like yellow. I like that spot. I got a, I got a couple clutches from there. This change should allow yellow to retain some power while adding more value to holding the space on the actual site. Why would you do this? So this is the before and this is the after. So you don't have this little angle to hide anymore. Now you have a flat angle. I actually think this might be better. Maybe. N not really. How this impacts the defense. This is a very big area you have to clear now. When it was like this, all you have to do is clear this side of yellow, like back here. All right, you got B. Now it's like, y'all got to commit a body. Y'all got to clear not only all of this side of the box, but you also have to clear here. Like I said, before, one Viper Molly or one Dart clears all of this. One Dart technically could still clear all this if you put it here. Somewhere around, like in this corner, it'll clear this side and this side of the box. But it's going to be it's gonna be hard now. I don't think people are going to be able to waste Dart. I don't know. Um, next one. Lower container removed and geometry adjusted into a cubby facing green. Doorway on the upper container widened and its position adjusted. This should allow players to better isolate fights around the side and make utility useable. Make utility usable more meaningful. Come on, Jeff Landa. That's a that's a typo right there. So I'm assuming there's gonna be a rope here still to go top site. I think this change. They, it looks like they actually narrowed this one. So you don't have such a wide angle for snowmen anymore, right? This is the before, this is the after. So it comes out a little bit more. Um, they also made it so that... So I feel like a reason why Sage was super meta on this map is you pretty much... With this with the site set up like this, 
you need a sage wall here most of the time to be able to plant. Otherwise, you have to like a lot of teams were throwing a deep viper wall in sight and pushing site to try to clear site. It was it was impossible, man. It was not fun. This allows you to be able to plant here. This is going to be the default plant spot. Um, and as long as you clear this, you're good. So I feel like you smoke this. You smoke this. No, because they're still top site. I don't know. Let's not figure out. Let's not think about that right now. But it just makes it makes it so that fighting for sight is way easier. You don't have this giant box and this angle behind the box and this angle behind the wall that's right here and this angle that's back sight and the off angle that's back here on this side of the on, on this side of this wall and the and the angle for uh, under the window and like this back sight angle and this top sight angle and the kitchen like there's like literally like ten different angles you have to clear going into sight. Now it makes it easier. You make sure nothing like this wall right here doesn't exist anymore. You can see this wall here doesn't exist. So it also makes it so that post plant coming back flanking from under tube is better too because you can actually hold for them going into site. This is going to change a lot actually. Building in back of B closed off. You want to encourage actors to push further and hold more space. Closing off this building should allow players to better anchor themselves in snowman. Should also better highlight using B fence to cut off rotations. Oh, I see. I see. Don't cut me off, bro. So, this spot, this window spot, never really good. Anytime you rotate from B, you just run under this thing and you're just safe from this window if you have a lurker. Now they say, oh, you want to rotate back to A from B? Oh, sheesh, you got to go this way. And if there's a lurker holding that window, you're going to die. So I kind of, I, I think this is good. I, 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 I do kind of like this. Crates added to orange lane to block line of sight from under tube. Oh. Yeah, but this line exists now. And this line and this line is going to be annoying without this wall here. But you can't see top from top sight anymore on the at least the doorway. You have to be holding top sight, under sight, close, this side, this angle, the window if you go through. There's a lot. Mid to B looks kind of rough now. All right, boiler ramp geo simplified and slightly narrowed. Smokes will now fully cover boiler, and players should find head peaks from ramp more predictable. Okay, so this just makes it. They just closed it. They just closed that opening. They plugged that hope. They they plugged that hole. That was like this thing. Now it doesn't exist. So this this whole area can be smoked very easily now. <laughs> And they also made it so there's there's not boxes on both sides. If you want to head peek, there's literally only one spot you can head peek, which is right here. Which also means a lot of shock lineups and a lot of arrow lineups that are on both sides of these this this ramp have been deleted. So interesting. Cover on back of A site adjusted. This should give defenders a little extra space to anchor on. So this is the before and this is the after. So they got rid of this random little like forklift. Or whatever this is. Looks like a fork. I don't know what that is. It's not a box. It's like a forklift, right? You see the wind? I don't know what it is. It's like a car. How about the car? And they changed it to a box. And it looks like the box isn't spammable because it's metal. So the rope's gone. No, 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 no. It's just like the way they rendered the, 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 the map, like the pictures. The rope is still there. You just don't see it, basically. Um, so this one, this spot back here if you don't use utility it's already so oppressed like bro the amount of jets and and vipers and chambers that just sit back here and go for a pick and can just get out so free it's so annoying now you have a whole set of other angles to worry about um it's spammable this is metal bro i think it is spammable Okay, maybe it's spammable. We'll have to wait and see. Head peek on attacker side pipes removed. Where attackers can peek from A on site can feel overwhelming. This change will allow defenders to better isolate where threats are coming from. Oh, I like this. Bro, the, the amount of like jets and arenas that just jump up here and would just fight you with a head glitch angle. So annoying. Now, 
No megalol. You cannot do that anymore. There's no step bro to be able to jump on top of there. Doorway into A lower to prevent foot shot on players on top of screens. Oh no, my footies. Oh no, my little feetsies aren't going to be shot anymore. Thank God. Um, it also is a kind of a nerf to defense though too, because usually you could you could hold this to see when they they rope, they vent when they're being a little little sussy bakas, but now it looks like you're not going to even be able to see it at all. So holding for sight might be different now too. Patch note, ani patch note 4.04. 내가 앞장서지. 꽤 많은 변경 있으니 잘 보라고. 다들 기다리던 내 소식부터 알려줄 테니 집중해야 할 거야. 관문 충돌, 기만, 그리고 궁극기가 변경돼. 이제 관문 충돌은 이 키를 하면 충전되는 방식이지. 그리고 설치된 결 속에 F 키로 가짜 순간 이동을 쓸수 있어. Okay. Do you need me to read for you guys? 모든 게다 진짜 같지? Cringe. I don't care about your no cap. Hot take, maybe. 이만은 한 번밖에 쓸수 없군. 괜찮아. 꽤 좋아졌거든. It's alright. It's that good. If you activate fake, if all decovers on myself will be running. I don't care about your man. Just, I just want it. Oh, that's kind of cool. It kind of sounds like the Yoru voice actor, actually. Maybe. He's got that deep voice. Enemies won't see me from close to them. Ah, so now it's they say so you don't even get this little outline anymore. I can use all my abilities while I'm ulted. Let's take a look at the other agent changes. Oh, here's what we want to see. Omen. You've gotten pretty good too, huh? Okay. You're slow dark? Oh, Look how fast it goes. It's like a speed hack. Oh, it's so fast. Oh, you can be like right in front of him and it doesn't actually get you. That's like in front. Alright, we move on to Brimstone. Oh, you get a little bit, a little bit more. Stim Beacon got... Oh my god, little speed. You get a little neon running around. Oh my gosh. Oh, here comes the Astro stuff. Let's see this stuff. Four stars, Kek W. So they're showing it used to be... You can stun on top of something and both above and below you get it. Now it doesn't get both. But no suction. You have to suck on them. You can't suck above them anymore. The disease is good. But I want to see the. I want to see the how fast the gas goes down now. Oh sheesh. Eh, it's not that. So when you would be at about thirty gas, you'd be at zero now with both. <gasps> I still feel like it's pretty. When Viper skills are in cooldown, the... oh, like you can see like little yellow lights or green if you're colorblind. That's kind of cool. So you know that you can't put it up anymore. So if you're trying to push against a Viper, when it's yellow, you have no fear of going into the Viper because they, you know, they can't put their stuff up. <laughs> Oh, shit. Are we already kind of. Can I have the link for the video? Yeah, sure. I'll post it after. It's only for teammates? Wait, really? Are you capping or what? 
If you subbed, by the way, I appreciate you. I'm not really going to read all this because we already watched all this. We already saw all this. So. If you sub during all that pa the, the, the patch review, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. The lols, yeah. I'll link you the video after this. I'm trying to see if there's anything else that we haven't seen yet. It is not... I don't know what you guys are saying. For enemy is always red? Okay. But why though? Why? We'll check. Ah, the, the new map select. Uh, I can't read it. We already know though. That's it for the patch notes. Wow. I kind of have to pee, chat. Are you okay with that if I go pee pee?